rush. Hey, buddy. In the court of the goddess, every man and woman is deemed worthy of redemption. Not me. Though you might be shackled by the tribulations of the past, the trials ahead offer you both freedom and glory. It felt good. The future is yours if you're bold enough to reach out for it. Bum 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 bum. I remember the first time I died here in hardcore. That was so funny. I was like, "What's going on?" It was when they first introduced this stuff. I think that might have been the last time I played hardcore too. Go with God. Belief is the strongest metal of the world. Ripley's believe it or not was a great show, despite what the critics say. Sabaton is tomorrow. I think the aliens landed and deleted the day because everybody thinks it's Saturday. Not saying you you do, Jake, but a lot of people think it's Saturday. Uh, I go straight to the sacrifice, I guess. The sacrifice. Hey, some more Minecrafting. Everybody is talking about lava. Something. What up, Kados? Ha 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 ha! My tools keep on breaking away. I've got Minecraft in my path of exile. Boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> Alright, Jake. Have a good one. Get some sleep, etc., etc. All that kind of good stuff. Rubble, 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 rubble. That's where that came from. Shut up. Get all of those chickens. All right, Brutus. You've been talking a lot of smack. I have to shut you up. Next out. Answers here, heretic. In Rayclast, but I don't. Think shut up, party. I'll be seeing you another 17 times. I'll be seeing you. Rip is gone. <laughs> oh, the bot's gone with Rip. Yay. <laughs> uh, that's not the right way. The bot died that day, and a part of it was Born of our TV history, where the Brutus Rip is forever lost in the archives of Twitch. Shut up!
Kill him. <laughs> Velvet slippers. Man, that was a hard Brutus fight, chat. I just sat back and let my zombies kill him while my little thing healed it. Kill the goat! Find your own way in, exile! <laughs> Party. This is what the real world is. Shut up, Party. All right, where are we going? We're going down now, I think. Uh, I could head over to a big might node for Strumpf, but I think I'm going to go down here for my survival. Go down to precision for accuracy, movement speed, and cast speed. Then down to armor, and then over here to mana. Hmm. And then some life nodes, armor, I'm sorry, armor nodes down below. So which way do we go? We go the right side. Boop. And then we go down to sanctity and stuff. Boop, boop, boop. There's the minecrafting. Yes, get that copper to build your copper house. It's so amazing that GGG can come up with all these great ideas. I look at games like Diablo. They don't add anything. They just, they just charge you for classes. It's sad, really. Game just sits there and wither. The new leagues are so boring in Diablo now. I have zero interest in them. It's sad, man. And Diablo's coming to Switch, and I'm just like, I have... I don't want... I, I mean, if I don't want to play it on PC, why would I want to play it on Switch? Kill him. I am no beast of burden. I am a beast of burden, you jerk. I am a mule. I am an oxen. Oh, the other oxen for here. Diablo was like, hey guys, we have theme seasons now. The first two, two treasure goblins. I know, right? Ah man, it's like they're they're in maintenance mode right now. This that's what's going on with Diablo. It's in maintenance mode, and they're gonna milk consoles now until the next Diablo title. If there's gonna be another Diablo title, you know. I mean, they turned the game around and then they just stopped adding content. The game was horrible. What well, was it horrible? It was it was a paltry release compared to prior Diablos. And then they turned it around. They added all this cool stuff with uh, 
Whatever the name of that expansion was. And then they just stop doing stuff. And then they charge you for freaking Necromancer. I'm just like, that was my favorite class in D2. And you're going to charge me for it? And then you're going to put like nothing in there? I mean, if you give me an expansion, sure. Just give me a class. I, I, I don't think I've ever... I haven't played Diablo since they did that. That was the thing that really turned me off the game when they charged for that Necromancer stuff. I was like, are you kidding me? Ship KVR. Dude, I'm excited for the new Torchlight. Let me tell you. This is a An MO, another MMORPG. My last MMORPG was Marvel Heroes. But Torchlight does it right, boy. That's... I mean, that's what people were clamoring for when Torchlight 2 came out. Because it wasn't... It was a multiplayer game, but it was very, like, segmented off, you know? You know, you had the modest stuff, the unmodded stuff. Everybody was like, you know, disjointed. This one's going to be true multiplayer. So I'm just, I'm excited about that. That new, that new torchlight is going to be the thing. Oh, did you guys see the announcement from Rebel Galaxy? I don't know if you guys remember in Rebel Galaxy. It's a, it's a space game I used to play here. Uh, from some former makers of Diablo. They were from Blizzard North. Travis and uh, what's his face? I always read the other guy's name. Eric Schaefer. Um, but uh, Rebel Galaxy was like a two, two and a half man project. Two, two man, one woman project. And they've enlisted more help for this the sequel to Rebel Galaxy. Uh, I think it's called Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. And uh, the trailer hit at PAX. I mean, they've been they've been they've been showing some gameplay off. They've been sneaking gameplay on their Twitter. And um, I haven't seen a whole bunch of gameplay footage. I saw the trailer. I saw the animated trailer, but it's looking like it's going to be full 3D combat instead of the, uh, you know, the World of Warships combat that it was in, in Rebel Galaxy. And it looks amazing. Oh! Okay. The reason why I don't like Diablo 3. Now, hear me out. I know we're, we've got opinions here. The reason why I don't like Diablo Diablo 3. There is a very shallow build diversity in that game. I mean, it's like one and a half levels deep. It is really shallow. Really shallow. Uh, and that's what makes it... You have limited options. You end up playing the same thing every league. That's why I don't like Diablo. And the reason why I don't like it is because when they first announced Diablo, there was going to be a lot more stuff. They were going to have runes. Instead of that, that simplified tree they have now in Diablo, it was going to be a rune system. And everybody was happy because that was taken straight from Diablo 2. And then they scrapped the entire thing. They scrapped the entire thing, chat. Oh, man. I was so upset. I was like, why? Why would you do that? They want to make it super simple. And Jay Wilson and his auction house. His real money auction house. That's why they dumbed it down, man. They want they wanted to pump money into that real money that real money auction house. And it basically flattened the game. They made it so just like shallow. And the reason people played Diablo was for those builds. Why oh, you think they're all on Path of Exile now? Why oh, do you think this game right now is destroying Diablo 3? Because you got a, a bunch of options. Arguably too many options. That's why, I mean, Diablo in, in itself is a good game. But you got to understand where, where it's coming from. Diablo 2 was, was just ridiculously good. Like, epic. Like, well beyond this time. And essentially, Diablo 3 took a step down from that. And it, it's, it's a testament to Diablo 2 because you could take a step down from Diablo 2 and still be a decent game. 
But those of us who played Diablo 2 know how much was was yanked out. It was just just, just yanked out. It was just like just gutted. And I was just like, oh my goodness. And the thing is, like at BlizzCons and stuff, they were teasing Diablo 3 and they had it was so oh man. It was gonna be a, it, that's why the hype was so good. I mean if they were if they were hyping what was in Diablo right now, nobody would probably be that hype. You know, or not that not right now, but at, at, at launch. But oh my goodness, we were so hyped. Oh, and they gutted all the good stuff. Really was a shame. I mean, they brought ladders and leaderboards back, kinda. But the build diversity is still just really paltry. And that's why I don't like it, man. It's just... So hopefully the next installment of Diablo, which I, I'm assuming they're going to work on, because Diablo was successful for them. And plus, Diablo is on consoles now. So they, they, they look they, they look to make a lot of money. They look to make a lot of money on uh, on, on the franchise on consoles. Because that's, I mean, that's, that's a cash cow. So hopefully in their next installment, they'll take the feedback of a lot of... I'll just say veterans. I'm not going to say Diablo 2 players. Just veterans and... People who have constructive criticisms of what can make the game better. Um, I just hope they take constructive feedback and, and just give the game more diversity because that tree, the skill trees in Diablo are really, really shallow. So I'm hoping the Diablo, if Diablo 4 comes out, I really hope they just listen i mean they do listen because if you look at the changes they made to diablo 3 they were all very good changes but you can only you only do so much of what you got oh that that's 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 just done you only do so much of what you got so it's like they can't they couldn't they really couldn't fix everything in the expansion but they they added a ton of stuff and i commended them on that i gave them a lot of credit i was like this is really good really good diablo is actually a good game but still the build diversity sucks so. wait i didn't grab the thing because i'm dumb reconnected the chat oh i was disconnected i am no beast of burden baron apps baron 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 But yeah, I mean, we've, we're getting some good ARPGs lately, guys. I mean, I think this is one of the genres that's shining bright right now in gaming. There's a lot of good, not just Diablo, there's a lot of other ARPGs that are coming out that are high quality. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, this is the AllSpark. Just down this way. So ARPGs are in a good spot right now. What's it? Victor V ran and uh, what's the other one? Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. I, I really should remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of it. Some high quality ARPGs now. Hey, how you doing? I've got the all spark. I really wanted to work there, but they made me choose between full time university and I quit. I chose school. Cool. I, I, I'm assuming you you you're happy with your decision. I would be. Oh, Van Helsing is another one, but that's not what I was thinking about. The reward I need, my Lord of Light. Uh, that's not the one I was thinking about. Um, yeah, I'm going down to Sanctity. What's the name of it? The one where you can rotate the screen and um, I had that Kickstarter for a while. I played it on stream many times. Grim Dawn. There you go. Fizzle. Grim Dawn. That's the one. 
High quality, man. Really high quality ARPG. Grim Dawn. That's what I'm thinking about. Wow, my attack speed. I really noticed it on that note. <laughs> Goodbye, Fair Graves. I'll see you again soon. I'll see you soon. I should take heed. Oh, you can go to the thing from the map. I just saw that. Um, yeah, this little thing right here. Cool, okay. Look at all of these Dwarf. exclamation points. Alright, Rallying Cry, Leap Slam, Clarity, and Flame Dash. I think I'll do Clarity, just to handle my mana issues now. Let's see what this chain belt's about. Oh, ha ha ha. I want sell. Uh, reflect again. It's a wand. Plague mask. It's probably I'm gonna keep that. Quiver. That dude. That Amy. I kind of need a good power Amy. I might craft that one. That's 28%. Yeah, let's do that one. I probably out that. No, I'll use my, uh, maybe I'll use my uh, essence on that. I got one in essence. Farewell. Farewell. All right, let's put this on. Oh, crap. What is this? Oh, no. This is my Smite Ancestral Call link. Hmm, I can't take that away right now unless I can no 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 I gotta take a chance will I get it I don't know yeah the chances were chat I didn't know if I was gonna get it why do you use the quip for some well, my veil dwells in the king. I can tell you why I like the quip. It's gentle on my mouth. It's a very smart toothbrush. And it doesn't make me... It makes brushing actually... I'm not going to say enjoyable. I just like the brush. It's better than my old brush. And the fact that I get free brushes... Or free refills... Not free refills... I get a brush refill and a battery for five dollars every three months is, is a steal. If you use an electric toothbrush, you know that you know you have to change batteries every now and then, and you're supposed to change your brush heads every three months. Nobody does it though. This is kind of cool that this kind they kind of force you like, hey, give us five bucks, we'll send you a new brush head. So I like it. And promotes good dental hygiene. Five bucks every three. The brush itself costs. It starts at twenty five dollars. The refills are like a subscription kind of a plan you can get. So no, the brush isn't five bucks. Every three months, Did I say five months. Your brush head. You spoke. Dentist suggests that you change your. Uh, they suggest that you change your um, brush heads every three months. But technically, you're not supposed to have a toothbrush very long. I mean, you, you are supposed to be changing out toothbrushes. Because the bristles do lose their bristle. Alright, jewelry, life regen. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Cool. I'll, I'll take this. Dexterity, life, gen. Yeah, life regen. I'll take that. Go ahead and burn that, uh, that essence I got. Greetings. Might as well, right? Farewell. You've been using the same toothbrush for two years. I would go buy a new one, man. Oh, 
130 for the toothbrush? You must have looked at the top one. They start at $25. <laughs> 100, $130. I mean, that's like going to the, the car dealership. If you didn't have a car here for $125,000, I'd probably buy a car. Oh, sir, we got one here for... No! 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 Too expensive. Bye! <laughs> oh, your Oral B is that much. My bad, I misunderstood you. If you wait a minute, Biohazard, you need to smile for the, the class. Biohazard, you have a hundred and thirty dollar toothbrush. Jiminy, cricket. Holy crap! I didn't even know you could. I didn't know Oral B charged that much for their stuff. Oh, Bestel, he's got a reward for me. Where's he at? Made any progress? Yeah. You gave me a book. Uh, and then Sanctity. And then after Sanctity, let's go towards Righteous Decree and then we'll do the, uh, the armor. Dude, I mean, I, I like people who... I have terrible teeth, so... I, I did a terrible job taking care of my teeth. The people who really take care of their teeth are... Um, they have my respect. My wife is a dentist dollar. She makes sure we have a new brush every three. See? Kill that loading screen nose. Yeah, that quip, the quip campaign I'm running is that when people buy brushes through my link, uh, I get a cut of that. So it's like a way of contributing to me. And if you need a new toothbrush, it's a way to do that. And I'm, I mean, they contacted me. I didn't go to them. And they say, hey, try our brush. I'm like, all right. I tried it. I was like, this is a good brush. Yeah, I'll, I'll support it. If I didn't like the brush, I would definitely turn them down. Like, I've already turned down a couple of other things I've gotten. Some uh, some sponsorship offers. I'm like, no, nah, I can't. I can't get behind that. But the brush was like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, no. I, I used to work for HP. I didn't contract. I was, uh, I was an employee. I'm full-time streaming now. Yeah, they laid me off. They laid the, the Buona off. So I'm full-time streaming. That's the little goal at the bottom right. That's so I can pay bills. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next zone, which is over here, yeah. The Oral B8000, it was actually $150 Amazon sale. Apparently the normal price is $250, which is insane. Is it a sonic brush? Is that one of those sonic brushes? I'll just go to the drugstore and get a toothbrush for five bucks. Grimner, you haven't changed your brush in two years. I don't think you're going to pay five bucks. I think you're just going to stick with the current brush you have. I don't think you're going to change your brush, man. Two years? I got froze there. I think the Sonic brushes were really expensive like that. I don't know. I remember when Sonic toothbrushes first came out. Don't scream at me like that. Siege Ballista. Y'all breath stink. Let me tell you. Whoa, I'm full. How am I full already? I thought I was empty. Jeez, I only found like three. Alright, I gotta I gotta go down here then. Hello. Uh cheapest quip toothbrush. I should follow that uh, follow that link and see what they show when I, when you click on my link. 